So my name is Fuzina Fizesi and I'm Head of Sales and Client Relations at uh, Keller CCP. Last years we have started intensive strategic negotiations with uh, our partner exchanges with the aim of boosting turnover of trading venues and more fully serve our companies. And in view of this aspiration, I will provide you with some updates on what changes and developments have taken place in the processes of Keller CCP recently, what uh, initiatives we are currently working on, and last but not least, how we contribute to promote the turnover of uh, futures gas market. Odo, you could uh, hear some words uh, already about the settlement bank model, uh, and you could hear the presentation of OT banks, one of our esteemed um, settlement banking partner. Let me just give you a short update on the settlement bank model in general. First of all, as you may know, as of 1st of December last year, Keller CCP successfully launched the new settlement bank model, under which uh, under which all gas and energy market uh, tr uh, transactions were transformed from Keller to new commercial bank accounts maintained by free Hungarian credit institutions, OTP Bank, MKB Bank, and Wolfsburg Bank. Well, the change was driven by the fact that uh, Keller, after successfully obtaining its CSDR license, can maintain and keep uh, securities and cash accounts only for the purposes of security settlement purposes, it gave us the possibility uh, to start developing forward-looking and internationally competitive solution with support of commercial banks. The transaction, the transition to the new model took place without interruptions and uh, the day-to-day -day operation has been running smoothly for almost a year now. So together with the partner banks, we started designing additional banking services for clients, as you could hear in the presentation uh, in detail, OTP Bank, obviously. In addition, we started negotiations with two Hungarian banks with international background in order to expand the list of our settlement bank. We still have a lot to do, but we do believe in forthcoming years, uh, this possibility, this new model provide Keller CCP with an opportunity to operate efficiently and in a customer-centric manner. The so-called gas market consolidation package has been focused uh, for some time now scope and the timing uh, have changed from time to time and still, still sometimes changing. Uh, but one thing, is, one thing is sure, one element of the package was completed at the beginning of 2020 since when all gas market transactions are settled in Europe. And now we are in a phase when other elements uh, of the package can be implemented However, uh, we still have to wait for the approval of the supervisory college uh, with the ground floor. I will highlight from this uh, package those components that will have, have an impact on our customers. And uh, you could uh, hear in the presentation of Mr. Tamás Horváth that, and also Bobby mentioned this, that uh, it is quite unique that the CCP is involved balancing process and it's quite new for us as well because uh, we are providing services for this market uh, since the beginning of last year so it might be not surprising that most of the changes affect the balancing market so I will start a brief introduction to these changes. And most of the changes uh, presented in this block uh, are expected to take effect in December year, one element, uh, one change uh, we introduced March this year is under point basic and common mitigation, risk mitigation tools used in CCP risk management framework uh, are barely um, applicable or not applicable at all for the balancing market uh, 
due to the special characteristics and rules of the balancing process, when exactly because of the same reason was expected from Keller CCP to strengthen the risk management model of balance of market. Since currently we are not able to apply the market risk approach, instead we introduced the counterparty risk approach and we linked a predetermined amount of additional financial collateral to the internal credit rating of clearing members so as to ensure that losses caused by a clearing member shall be borne by it and avoiding the involvement of the funding of the appropriate way. This approach might be burdensome for some guest clearing members, but upon the development uh, of other risk mitigation elements introduced in the market, and I'm referring here to the within day obligation to introduce my uh, Mr. Balash Kotar here's presentation, and um, uh, data transfer of OTC trades in the future um, will most probably review the framework of the counterparty risk approach. As for the second item, to our function as a central counterparty, Potential for Keller CCP to react to any newly identified or existing risk factors in due course to achieve this uh, goal, we shall switch the turnover margin calculation of balancing market from monthly to daily to be in line with the underlying risk factors. As a result, after launch day, uh, we will send daily collateral reports to our clients. And, uh, and clients need to be prepared for the liquidity management of payment of collateral obligations. Moving on to the third point, an imbalanced position can occur when a system user offtakes more gas from the transitions, transmission system than injects into it. Uh, hence, it has to buy the balance in gas from the PSO. Uh, in case the system user is unable to pay for the balance of gas, both obligatory from the PSO, Keller CCP shall settle financially the, the mentioned balance of gas. CJEPs and trading platform markets have therefore been identified to be a potential source of imbalances. Therefore, in order to mitigate the risk here in the future, we will take 25% of the value of the net sell positions of CJEX and trading platform market in the calculation of the balancing turnover margin. Uh, hence, as a result, the amount of the balancing turnover margin will increase. According to the current methodology, both turnover margin and additional financial collateral are considered when we determine the fund contribution amount of the balancing clearing member. In line with the approaches mentioned in the previous points, uh, the individual risk will be properly managed up to a certain level, so we found it reasonable to exclude additional financial collateral from the determination of fund contribution. This change will avoid that both the increased turnover margin and the additional financial collateral are reflected calculation of the guarantee fund so that we can protect the liquidity of the yes, positive change I would go over to introduce another feature that is also a customer friendly change we believe according to the feedbacks of clearing members it would be preferable for them to be able to plan their own trading activity for the future, including weekends and holidays, um, rather than to be specified by Keller CCP based on historical data. As an answer for this feedback, while the trade uh, limits still remain in place, and uh, leading members must provide 100% uh, uh, collateral coverage of their natural gas buying positions the algorithmic turnover margin calculation shall be terminated and the so-called voluntary collateral amount will be uh, specified by the clearing members as the coverage of the, uh, of the trading limit. Take into account that although clearing members will be in the position to decide on the amount of voluntary collateral, 
the basic financial collateral will still remain in place. So all the above mentioned uh, initiatives are ready to be implemented. The launch date is subjected to the approval of the supervisor college. But we won't stop here. So I would like to give some hints about uh, our further plans that we believe will enhance uh, customer experience of our, our guest living members. In cooperation with partner markets, we are planning to consolidate our internal processes, which will result in simplification and transparency of post trade processes and harmonization of deadlines. In addition, we plan to simplificate financial, uh, financial execution processes, purchase price invoices, invoicing, and we plan to streamline statements and reports too. Furthermore, we are also working to create the conditions for negative price trading and settlement. Uh, this is not really relevant nowadays. And with colleagues from Hudex, we are thinking uh, of designing uh, a cash settle Hudex product. As I mentioned, these are longer term plans and we will present them in detail to our clients well in advance the planned launch date. Now I would like to focus uh, on Hudex market because as it was mentioned uh, by Mr. Daniel Gorai, we are working very close with uh, colleagues from Hudex in order to boost uh, turnover of this market. To support this common goal, during the annual risk model review, the CJEX Hudex guaranteed fund calculation methodology, as a result of which we decided to amend it, which means a quantifiable favorable change for clearing members, while of course uh, the new methodology strictly, strictly remains within the framework of the regulatory framework. Summary, based on the new methodolo methodology, the minimum contribution will be deducted from the pre-calculated guarantee base value first, and only the remaining amount will be distributed among the clearing members active in the previous month. Thus, the contribution to the active members to the guarantee fund will become more proportionate to the risk they take. And uh, those who are not active will pay the minimum contribution only. And the guarantee fund itself will not increase more than justified in case of low stress credits. This change has been implemented on February uh, the 1st this year, and on the chart you can see how the amount of guaranteed fund decreased since then thanks to the methodological change. Last but not least, I would like to introduce our new fee schedule, which is applicable from 1st of September uh, this year. Entry into regulated spot and futures market is the well understood interest of the world market. Um, due to risk foreclosure and transparency, we could hear about it uh, during this uh, day um, quite a lot. Uh, the purpose of the fee schedule amendment is to motivate our clients to open up to stock exchanges, or at least no way deter them from doing so, thus supporting the market development goal of increasing or transfer OTC transactions to exchanges. Furthermore, uh, turnover promotion related discussions with Hudex um, revealed that uh, the previous fee structure, spot uh, and derivative restriction, as you can see in the left hand side uh, table, was disadvantageous for the Hudex market compared to other markets, which clearly deterred potential members from entering the market. According to the new tariff rules, that you can see in the right-hand side table, which we have agreed with both FGS and the Mobile Group, one tariff applies for the balancing market, 0,775, while in the future either one, or if uh, the clearing member enters more of our served guest markets, it can do it so for only an additional 175 euros. We believe that this will support the development of markets uh, in medium and, and long term, and, uh, and thus also ensures that costs are charged in a competition neutral manner for trading members. In addition to the above, an existing 
balancing all the client or a new client enters the trading platform or CJAX and or FUDEX market, in addition to the mandatory balancing membership, uh, we will waive the payment of the additional 175 euros membership fee for the first three months, encouraging market participants to enter in trading venues. Well-functioning exchange, um, it is crucial to establish and maintain an appropriate uh, market maker system to continuously provide liquidity uh, on the market. According to the new fee schedule, Keller CCT uh, applies a retrospective 75% fee discount from the turnover fee for transactions that are concluded in accordance with the FUDEX market maker contract. Um, thus supporting the expansion of the list of food as market makers. It's very important for Keller CCT to establish close cooperation and strategic partnerships with clients and partners in order to contribute to market expansion. We do believe these last initiatives are supportive enough, encouraging some prospect clients uh, to consider joining uh, to the Hudex market or maybe encouraging some of those uh, already members on this market to be more active. Here I came to the end of my presentation, uh, but in case of any questions, you can always turn to us at sales at kellerkasf.ag and, and please follow us via LinkedIn because we regularly share uh, valuable content there and I also suggest you to uh, check out our YouTube channel uh, where we'll be uh, we'll, uh, uploading more informative video uh, content there soon. So thank you very much for your attention. Um, now I give the floor to Gabor. I think, yeah, the floor can be immediately given to Gabor. So our uh, esteemed uh, participants can get the whole picture how can CCP contributed to make uh, actually exchange trading and participation from the exchange hopefully more favorable still keeping strong risk management framework or strengthening where we need it to do it and now Gabor can probably give you some insights how and what the exchanges are doing to actually have this process or activation even more thank you Thank you. First of all, I would like to also welcome everyone. I hope everyone can hear me. Um, and now I would like to share my presentation. And yes. So basically, in the in the first part of this uh, forum, you could hear from the from the leaders of of uh, Keller CCP and CJX reasons why to join uh, our, our exchanging and, uh, and clear the trading model. Um, but apart from this, I would like to also uh, give a few of the insights why probably this is extremely important or significant nowadays. Um, for example, in the first chart, you can see already 40 additional reasons why to join. You can see that uh, from, from every part of uh, Europe, we have significant market players trading CJX. We have currently 40 members. Um, moreover, there is, we think, certain listed reasons why uh, the business case is getting stronger for CJX nowadays. One of that is, that as you can as you can see, basically the CJX deal head market is in discount uh, for uh, against the Western European market in the last almost one year. This creates a trading opportunity for wholesale traders, and it's also a cheaper sourcing for local portfolio managers. And the second one is that uh, the regional activity, and especially the Serbian and Croatian gas flows, will probably transform the region even, even further and also create additional uh, importance to, it, to, to Central Eastern Europe. Storage levels are, of course, also important, and currently, we see a high difference between the storage level fullness uh, compared to Western European markets, which could be the reason behind the spread between um, Western European markets and CJX. 
Also, uh, gas-fired electricity generation is, is currently, as, as touched already today, is, uh, is heavily challenged nowadays, especially seasonally. But we strongly believe that uh, coal to gas switching will, take, will, will have a, a significant role and gas will be a significant part of the merit order as well for the long term. Regarding CJX index, Daniel Garay also mentioned a few reasons, but we strongly think that in, in, in the future, CJX index itself will be uh, used instead of or next to the, the traditional TTF to sp spread or VTP to spread structures. And this is because here you get the local del delivery without any uh, cross-border risk. Also, this index is tr directly tradable via your CJX membership. Now let's look at um, the actual or, um, fee schedule and, and the benefits discounts of it. Um, sorry, I have to move some part of the screen because it's, it's blocking my view. Okay, so um, we have basically two different packages for different business models. For the, for the companies who are trading more uh, volume, we suggest to join in the classic package, which has higher fixed cost, but significantly lower transaction cost. And for the, for the companies who are trading lower volumes, there is the flexible package, which is uh, uh, lower fixed cost and, and higher flexible cost. As you can see highlighted, these costs are discounted. So the entrance fee is 100% tradable. That means that in the, in the first 365 days, um, your transaction fee basically gets 100% reimbursed by the value of your entrance fee paid. And also, if you join other UPEX group markets, uh, the membership fee of, of those are discounted with the HUDEX membership fee you would have to pay. So just summing up the, the discounts, first of all, the entrance fee is tradable. Second, there is a combined membership package, which additionally to the, to the membership fee discount means, for example, that uh, the extension to HUDEX from CJX means that for these members, system fee is exactly zero because as Daniel mentioned, Trayport and Joule is the system behind these exchanges and you only have to pay this system fee once. Uh, two tariff packages and different business strategies is, is the third element. And let's look a bit about these and the numbers. We try to put through some, some of the most important um, elements. First, in the left side, you can see what are the costs an entrance uh, um, in, in, during the entrance one company has to pay. Uh, entrance fees, of course, paid only once when you enter, and the rest of the costs are basically monthly paid, and also the transaction fee is ex post paid monthly. And um, as, 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 as in my previous roles, I, I always experience that it's, it's really good if you can calculate with the unit cost. Uh, when you try to figure out how much actual cost will an exchange membership will cause you. And we were trying to figure out, and I calculated this for you in this, in this small example. Basically, if you would like to achieve a 0 0.2 euro per megawatt hour as a unit cost, these are the different volumes you have to trade in the classic package, and these are in the flexible package. And if you are looking to a unit cost um, half of that, 0 0.1, of course, this means higher volumes, which are more fitting to the classic package. We talked about the, the consumer perspective and trader perspective about uh, why it is important or, or why it could be good for you to join these markets. So I, so, uh, I think we should look a bit about the actual cost and how it looks like. In this slide, we collected in, in a small example, basically in the first part, you can see all the cost that is currently uh, paid by, by the traders who are active in the Hungarian gas market. And in this side, we created a hopefully simple enough uh, assumption of what happens if you enter at CJX and we calculated with 80 gigawatt yearly traded volume. So basically you pay the entrance fee of 7,000 euros. You pay in the flexible package, of course. In the fixed fees, you pay the system fee plus the membership fee, that's roughly 12,000 euros. And these are the variable costs you are paying. And as mentioned, 
the total transaction cost of this volume uh, will be deducted up to the entrance fee you are paying. This means that you are only paying 20,000 euros on this year, which is equal to 0 0.25 euros as a unit cost. Of course, we tried to give a few other uh, views of lower or higher volumes, but you can see that this can mean changes in the unit cost, but the cost altogether in the fixed cost is, is not that significantly changing. Now, what happens if you join Hudex market? Basically, in Hudex market, uh, calculating with the same 80 gigs a year, you do not pay any entrance fee. You pay 3,000 euro membership fee, but as discussed, uh, the discount of your CJX uh, membership fee will be given to you, which in, in the flexible package means that you will pay zero membership fee on CJX and 3,000 euros on Hudex. These are the transaction costs you are paying. And altogether, it means that trading 80 gigawatt hours on Hudex will have the cost of 4,000 euros for you. And um, basically, in, in the classic package, the same example with, of course, higher volumes looks like the following 50,000 euro entrance fee plus the fixed fee of system fee and membership fee. The total traded uh, transaction cost of this volume is deductible from the entrance fee you paid. So altogether, you pay 40,000 euro roughly on this first year, which equals to 0 0.13 13 euro per megawatt hour uh, unit cost. Now, if you join Hudex with these kind of classic package volumes, once again, you do not pay any entrance fee. Uh, we calculated with 300 gigawatt hour a year. The fixed fee, 3,000 euros, will be 100% deducted from your fixed costs of CJX. So your membership fee will be less with this uh, value. Then you pay the transaction fee of these values. We calculated with front months, front quarter, and front seasonal uh, transaction cost because balance of the months is a bit higher. So the sum of the cost you are paying on Hudex for these volumes is 7,650 euros, which equals to this kind of transaction cost. Now, this means that basically you can extend your membership to Hudex from CJX practically for, for zero fixed fee and the, trans the variable cost is roughly 0 0.1 euro per megawatt hour for trading these volumes. Currently on Hudex, we have 37 members. Uh, 23 of those are on the power market and 22 on the gas market. We have contracted two market makers. Uh, in the current really turbulent times, it is, it is really challenging for them and also for us to, to create an environment where, where they can daily put prices on the screen. But what we are doing currently is try to negotiate some of these contracts in a way that they can react in these extremely volatile times. But we strongly think that in, in, the, in the winter season, uh, when, when the liquidity on CJX is also historically higher than in the summer, uh, we will see higher volumes and more activity on the Hudex side. But as you can see on, from this uh, slide as well, the, most of the of the biggest names are already participating on the on the future derivative market of Hudex, and then looking at quickly of of the standard fee schedule of of Hudex, you can basically see all the things that are listed here. There is one difference that the fees are are billed quarterly and not monthly. But once again, if you apply uh, these, combine it with with the CJX membership, it means that this membership fee is deductible and you do not pay any system fees. You can also see the transaction costs, which were not visible yet. As I mentioned, the balance of the month's uh, product is actually 0 0.01 euro per megawatt hour. For, for all the rest of the products, it's 0 0.03 uh, euro per megawatt hour. And for the OTC clearing registration, you have to pay one cent as well. Um, Looking at, looking at the time and, and all the things that we discussed so far, this is just this slide. We collected all the most important uh, reasons why to join an exchange, a cleared exchange. But honestly, I think the previous presentations uh, already listed these arguments. So uh, what I would like to do is, uh, is in the last 
slide also just bring you uh, some some of the insight what are what are the markets operated and products operated by Hupix Group and um, as as Fuji also said uh, these slides will be given to you and if there is any question regarding the calculations or or anything you still will have time at the end of the of the forum and also please don't hesitate to contact us anytime regarding these calculations or anything else. And uh, I would like to thank you for the, your attention. And uh, please let me know who will take over the floor. <laughs>